Thanks, Eric. Sorry. So, it's, it's good to see you. We had a bit of the old, now we have a little bit of the new. So, this is the first generation iPod Touch, released in 2007, a few months after the first iPhone. And what made the iPod Touch stand out is it was a new addition to the iPod line in the sense that it shared similar specs to the first iPhone, such as it has the GUI of iPhone OS 1.1. So you got the whole home screen, the dock, which is now still used in iPhones today because the iPod Touch was recently discontinued, I think a year ago now. And one standout is you don't just have the ability to play music. You can also play videos, you can sync photos onto it, so if you want to use it as a photo library and stuff like that. And you also had the first version of iPhone OS 1.1, which was on this, was the fact that you could have a clock. So you could have a clock, alarms, a stopwatch, and a timer. Then you also have Safari, so you can go on the internet, YouTube, which doesn't work anymore. You got calendar. So you got contacts, you've got a calculator as well. So if I wanted to put in something. And of course, settings. And you also had the iTunes store. So if you wanted to download a song, it would automatically download onto your device. But that's just the first iteration of it because in later years you had the App Store introduced which was also added to this one in like a later software update. It also allowed you to have custom applications but obviously people jumped the gun, jailbreaking became a thing not long after this was released and before you know it you had Cydia, which allowed you to download apps on the fly, a third party app store, I'd say. Before the official app store even released, I think. But yeah, it's definitely a revolutionary piece of tech and one of the last iPods because slowly the iPods became irrelevant due to the popularity of the iPhone, Apple Music, Spotify, etc. So yeah, that was the first iPod touch. You know, um, They'll be jailbreaking the iPhone soon because of the EU requirements in 24. They have to allow... The sideloading thing has yeah. actually become official, which yeah. is a big change. Yeah. That's going to be weird. <laughs> I don't know if they'll let... Oh, I don't know. It's I think... Yeah, yeah no, but still... You're USB-C. That's right, yeah, another requirement. Yeah. Thanks, Marty. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Yeah. If you guys ever tried loading Android stuff, you've got to be careful which one you go to, oh, which one's not. Virus, yeah. which one's I have. Yeah. Back then, that community Horrible. was big yeah. as well. Horrible. Horrible. Now, 